Hello, my beautiful Scorpios, born on November 20th. This is your special birthday reading unto you. Thank you so much for your patience as I've been getting through the birthday readings. Thank you for boosting my numbers for the view count for the channel. And if you became a subscriber to the channel, thank you so very much. I certainly appreciate every single one of you. So without further ado, Scorpio, let's go ahead and dive into this birthday reading. Calling upon the trusted ancestors of my Scorpios born on November 20th to bring in the truth, the whole truth, and nothing but the truth through the power of the numbers, and so it is. And rolling the dice, see what we need to shuffle the deck to. I've got the power of number six. Some of you guys are dealing with a Gemini and or a Cancerian throughout the month of June. So we could see the lover's card kick in. I'm also picking up the energy of the six of cups. Power of number 12, you could also be dealing with a Pisces. We could see the hanged man card make its presence known. And or because of the power of number 12, you could also be dealing with a Sagittarius and or a Capricorn throughout the month of December. Power of number 10, you could be dealing with a Libra and or maybe another Scorpio that was born at the latter part of October. So we could also see the Wheel of Fortune kick in. You could be dealing with a fixed sign, an Aquarius, a Taurus, a Leo, and or again, another Scorpio such as yourself. We may even possibly see the Ten of Swords, the Ten of Cups, and or the Ten of Pentacles. Adding up the numbers, it looks like we are going to the number 28. We could also see the Judgment card come into play, possibly uh, the World card, power of number 21. The Moon card, you could be dealing straight up with a Cancerian. I'm also seeing the Tower card energy. The Fool, you could be dealing with an Aries. And the High Priestess, I am picking up High Priestess energy. So power of number two, you could be dealing with an Aquarius or a Pisces throughout the month of February. And I'm also, of course, seeing the power of number eight. You could be dealing with a Leo and or a Virgo throughout the month of August for some of you. Going to the power of number 28 for your birthday reading, my beautiful Scorpios. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen. 18, 19, 20, 21, <clears throat> 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, and 28. Okay. <clears throat> Trusted ancestors of my Scorpios born on November 20th. What is the overall message for this particular group of Scorpios? Whether it's in regards to a specific person, their romantic life, their financial life, their passions, dreams, and goals, if this is about family members. What is the overall message, please? Ooh, Scorpio, you're on the board. King of Cups, male or female, doesn't matter. However, some of you could be dealing with another water sign, <clears throat> a Cancer, Pisces, and or a Scorpio. For some of you, this could also be new soulmate. This could also be somebody from your past, Scorpio, that's going to start showing you that they are more emotionally available. But somebody here is in love with you, Scorpio. King of Cups. Let's see how this King of Cups is coming into play. Message from the King of Cups. 
Ooh, I did say we could see the strength card. Again, some of you guys are dealing with a Leo and or a Virgo throughout the month of August for some of you. This person, I feel, is wanting to get the courage and the strength to come forward, Scorpio, if you've been dealing with somebody from the past or a specific person, and or could be a new soulmate that is wanting to make some kind of a romantic gesture, but maybe they're trying to find that courage to approach you. You never know. I just heard my trusted ancestors say <clears throat> that a lot of you guys are working in on self-love right now. So what does that really mean? That basically means you're putting more time and energy into yourself. You're getting things done around your house. You could be working out, starting to take on a new diet. Maybe you're planning ahead for all of your dreams and goals of 2022, okay? Maybe you're becoming more bolder, more confident, more self-assured, Scorpio. It could be that your solar plexus energy, which is that central part, the stomach area of your body, that could be on the grow. You're feeling good about yourself. Or maybe some of you guys actually have been listening to a guided meditation and or binaural beats on the solar plexus. How is this King of Cups coming into play for my Scorpios born on November 20th, trusted ancestors? O-M-G. Well, my beautiful Scorpios, we got another card from the roll of the dice, <clears throat> the lover's card. Some of you guys are dealing with a Cancerian or a Gemini throughout the month of June for some of you. Somebody here is in love with you, Scorpio, and I also feel that this is manifestation. I'm picking up the over, overall word manifestation. Maybe some of you Scorpios are doing your own little, we'll say love spells or love manifestations. Could be listening to guided meditations to help draw in or bring in your twin flame and or your soulmate. <clears throat> Maybe you're becoming more crystal clear, Scorpio, also, too, in your choices in love. Maybe you're at a point in your life you're just not going to settle for less than what you deserve. And why should you? But as I see it, as a reader, somebody here is in love with you. Or they got their eye on you, Scorpio. I'm seeing the star card <clears throat> in my mind's eye. Picking up on that energy right now. You have to forgive me. My throat <clears> throat> chakra. I can't seem to clear it enough. I've been drinking so much coffee <clears throat> and water. Oh my God. Whew. Sorry about that. <clears throat> Unless if this person is really having a hard time speaking their truth unto you, Scorpio, that could very well be true. Sometimes I find when my throat chakra starts to get like froggy or gets phlegmy. And I really try to watch how much dairy I have in my diet. Somebody is in love with you. I feel like this person wants to make love to you. There is a divine union or you're going to be coming into union very soon here, I feel, with the person that is meant to be in your life. Two major arcanas and a major king. Male or female does not matter, like I said. I feel like this person, Scorpio, is going to give you... <clears throat> there it goes again. <clears throat> the emotional stability that you need. Because you've been there for people before in the past with your feelings, your emotions, your loyalty, your commitment, your dedication, your devotion. And there's no reason why that energy shouldn't be reciprocated. Right? Indeed. Indeed.
Message from strength. Ooh, the Queen of Wands. Somebody here is very much attracted to you. You could be dealing with a fire sign. An Aries, a Leo, and or Sagittarius. I have to give the Queen of Wands a fair chance. Yes, sometimes she can come in as a third party situation. Yes, yeah, she can. Message from the lovers. Ooh, yeah, you could, for some of you guys, you might be dealing with them Cancerians. You got the moon card. So behind the moon right now, Scorpio, quote unquote, I feel somebody is watching you behind the scenes. Somebody has got their eye on you. I don't need to see the page of swords. I think somebody's very highly attracted to you. They're smitten by you. Maybe they've had brief conversations with you. This could be a, a friend that is interested. But maybe they've never played it off that way. Maybe they've just been in the friend zone with you. You know what I'm saying? Or Scorpio, you've got your eye on somebody in particular. That could very well be true. And why wouldn't that be? There's a lot of romanticism that's going on here, but somebody's holding back. But I say not for too much longer because the King of Cups is looking pretty, pretty solid in his actions and how he's going to come forward. I'm anxious to clarify him. How is this Queen of Wands coming into play, trusted ancestors? Oh, my freaking God. Wow. Wow, 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 wow. Ace of Cups. Ooh, baby. Somebody. Listen. Oh, this person wants... I feel like this person just wants to spew <clears throat> the love beans with you, Scorpio. Or somebody here is wanting to reconcile big time. I feel like I'm hearing Kylie Minogue's song, Can't Get You Out of My Head. Why are they holding back? Why is this person holding back? Okay. It could be right now they're a little bit distracted. They could be giving time and energy to other people, places, things, or situations, or this could be a job situation. This might even be, <clears throat> for some of you guys, it might be a coworker that has had their eye on you. This is what I'm picking up from Spirit. Oh, my God. Look at this. Look at this. Look at this. Didn't I not just say the star card? Didn't I not say that I saw the Six of Cups in my mind's eye? I didn't say anything about the Ace of Swords, but it's my favorite Ace. Somebody has got their eye on you. You are like a twinkle, a sparkle of something. You're like a firework to this person. And yes, it could be somebody from the past that has not gotten over you, Scorpio, despite anything. I mean, the Queen of Wands can come in as a third-party situation. You know, if you know for a fact that this person was dealing with a third-party situation, I'm not so sure they're going to be dealing with them because all of their love energy is like it's headed in your direction. So I'm putting that all in the deck. So just remember that. Star, Six of Cups, Ace of Swords. Message from the Ace of Cups. Oh, something here is trying to get balanced out again. Synchronized, harmonized, alchemy, manifestation. You know, I love it when temperance comes into a reading because this is like a beautiful emotional cushion. That something good is happening. It's on its way that your trusted ancestors have got your back. They're not going to leave you out in the cold. They're going to guide you every single step of the way put you on that path of least resistance because my beautiful Scorpios 
our trusted ancestors know how much we love love. And they know how much we've been screwed over in love. And there have been major lessons and cycles that we have had to learn in the romance department in order for us to get very crystal clear about our intentions on who to love and what kind of person to love that is going to reciprocate. Something here is trying to come into alignment or spirit is pushing this person out of their comfort zone. This could have definitely been somebody who left you out in the cold, Scorpio. Especially if it was somebody from your past. This person may reach out to you on December 14th for some of you. On the long grand scheme of things, it could take up to June. I've got the springtime process. So with this Ace of Cups, usually I see this energy kick in between mid-February. So on the cusp line of Aquarius into Piscean energy. And then this has a tendency to follow all the way to about mid-May. So between Taurus and Gemini season. And then it's like the Ace of Wands kicks in for the summertime process. Okay, Message from Temperance. You could definitely be dealing with an air sign for some of you guys, an Aquarius, a Libra, and or Gemini. Somebody's getting some mental clarity about you, Scorpio, or they're very bound and determined in their actions. Like I said, I didn't need to see the Page of Swords, but guess what? He's here. So like I said, I feel like somebody was is watching you or has been watching you behind the scenes. That's a trump, the king of swords. Somebody had to take a time out or they had to think this over or somebody's praying, manifesting, meditating, healing. Somebody could be healing right now. All right. <clears throat> And take another sip of water. You know what I would like to see? Next to this King of Cups. I'd either like to see the Ten of Cups, maybe the Ten of Pentacles, the Four of Wands. Um, I was seeing the Wheel of Fortune. Wheel of Fortune in my mind's eye. However, let's just say, for example, the judgment card were to come up. Then this king of cups has some kind of guilt, remorse, regret, because what has a tendency to follow suit of the judgment card is usually either the five of cups and or the page of cups. So something about a rightfully owed apology. Now, however, we did see <clears throat> the six of cups kick in. So this definitely just might be somebody from your past Scorpio and or new love because the ace of cups can bring in a new soulmate but I feel like this is somebody who knows you somebody who knows you either you've been involved with or this could be somebody who is in a friend zone with you that has always been interested but they've held their feelings back that they want to have some kind of a commitment and or a partnership with you. Trusted ancestors of my Scorpios born on November 20th as this moment of truth. How is this King of Cups coming into play, please? Wow. This person's getting ready to reach out with some kind of romantic communication or they want to make a romantic proposal and or gesture unto you, the Knight of Cups. For some reason, what's interesting is that here's a king, right? And then you have a knight. Well, a knight is going to be one level down from the king. I do feel, Scorpio, that this, they're not going to be, well, they're going to be flirtatious. Somebody here is going to end up being very flirtatious. 
in order, I say, maybe to grab your attention, okay? Um, that's not to say that they're immature. Usually when the Page of Cups comes in, that's like immaturity, you know, or the communication is very small. No, I feel like somebody here is going to kind of, we'll say, feel your energy out a bit. But if this is somebody that you've dealt with before from your past, something has changed I say within this person that they're that they're not the same person anymore. But why would that be, right? They're bringing in some kind of major commitment. It's been slow. Maybe you've been wondering, maybe you're already involved with somebody that is just taking forever, forever. For them to come in and give you some kind of commitment this energy is coming in from this king somebody is getting engaged and or proposed to this is what i'm picking up I think they're having a hard time figuring out what their approach is going to be. They're juggling. What I'm picking up is that they're juggling ideas or they're juggling their words to figure out what to say to you. And this person could have also, if you feel like this is somebody from your past, they could have juggled you before in the past with somebody else. Maybe whoever this queen of wands is, male or female, does not matter. Because there's, there's also a king here too. Okay. What is the juggling act? Why is this person juggling okay <clears throat> it's really about how they how okay i've got sirens going on in the background so that you guys may not be able to hear it but i can it's like a cop car or a siren um which is interesting because here's a chariot i don't know if you guys are dealing with somebody who works in uh government or is a law official or a cop for some of you that might be that might resonate um Chariot, they're juggling, I feel, on how to approach you. So whether this is somebody from their past, somebody that you could be interested in, or somebody here who might be in the friend zone that I'm picking up on, what their approach is going to be. Or this person wants to take you out on a date, but they could be a little nervous. This could be the reason why. They're just so... I can't help but not say it, but they're like obsessed with your beauty and or your handsomeness. And it's like they're they're trying to find the courage and the strength with their approach. I'm almost picking up that this person, if this is somebody you dealt with before in the past, they become more sensitive. Or this person is just very, they're like an empath like you guys are. Or their intuition is very strong. It's not to say that they're not bold or confident. It's just that they're battling something here. They're juggling on what to say or how to, you know, because I feel like this person wants to make a solid impression on you. Message from the chariot. And some of you guys are dealing with them. Hot and sexy Leos. Sun card. This person is in love with you. They want to marry you. I feel like they want to take you off the single market, Scorpio. Or they admire you because you are very proactive or you're diligent in your work life or you're very ambitious. Ambitiousness can come through the Queen of Wands. You're going after your personal dreams and goals. Maybe somebody, this is somebody that you know that admires you for doing this or whatever it is that you set your mind to. They could just be not just with your looks, but they're obsessed with your mind. You know, maybe you have a lot of creative ideas that just kind of keep rolling off of you all the time, Scorpio. Message from the sun card. Oh, well, there you are. Sign of Scorpio. Somebody wants to have a major change here or be a phoenix rising up out of the ashes. This could definitely be somebody from the past. What did I say about the five of cups? There's like a judgment call that was like circulating out in the ethers. 
This person may not want something to end with you, Scorpio, despite appearances. Whatever they've been through, <clears throat> maybe they can, this person feels like they can relate or ever since maybe with the past person, since you haven't been in the picture, things could have been an uphill battle for this person. Maybe they feel guilty because they put you in competition with somebody else or a third party. Why does this person have burden, please? They're telling me as I was shuffling that this is a, an emotional burden because they've been holding back. The moon card is a very emotional card because it's a mothering energy. Okay, so there's a lot of emotion that comes from the moon. And the moon is a the moon, yes, <clears throat> could be deceptive. This person, in a sense, might be, if it's a friend that you've been picking up that uh, may you may have suspicions on that they have a liking for you. This person has held back. So they've been, A, first of all, kind of in denial, but not in denial. It's kind of weird, all right? But at the same time, it's like they they pull it off in such a way that they're, they're falsifying that they don't have feelings for you when they actually really do. This person is just all up in their freaking head about you, Scorpio. My God. Which means, if it's somebody from the past, they might have gotten their karma on something. Maybe they just feel guilty. Again, five of swords, bottom of the deck. Like, they put you into competition, then they could be spying in on you. Or maybe this person feels that they'll never have a chance with you, Scorpio. Maybe they feel that you have other people fighting for your attention. And they don't, maybe they feel they don't know how to compete. Um, but they're trying to make plans, whoever this person is, to reach out. Reach out and touch someone. AT&T, right? All right, Queen of Pentacles. They see you prosperous. They see you on the grow. Male or female does not matter. They have a lot of respect for you despite appearances. So if this is somebody from the past that ended up treating you like shit in the end, Scorpio, think again, this person, they think of you differently. They see you glowing up. They see you going after and getting what it is that you want. Oh, my God. Yeah, they're holding it back a secret of how much feeling, how much feeling they have for you. It's like, yeah, look at that. Somebody wants to come forward, give you a rightfully owed apology, Scorpio. Jeez Louise, this person is tormented. And some of them, they know that behind the scenes, they did you dirty. If you were dealing with somebody from the past, they were sneaky, lying, deceptive. That's the reason why. Wanting to come forward with an apology. Oh my God, this person. Whoever this is, Scorpio. My God. Five of Cups. I don't even know how much more to describe this person. They're, they're a bit in denial. They were in denial. For some of them, they were in denial in the past about the connection between you and them. They didn't want to hear what you had to say. You could have told them that, you know, maybe they're your twin flame or that you feel like you're soulmates or that you're destined to be together. And they just, ugh, they couldn't, they couldn't handle maybe at that time hearing that truth. So they went into denial and either ghosted you, ignored you, laughed it off. You never know. But this person, they, they need to make a decision. One more message. Fate and destiny, baby. What goes around comes around. I do feel if this is somebody from the past, they got their freaking karma. I did say I saw the Wheel of Fortune in my mind's eye. But then again, power of number 10 did come up on the roll of the dice. So... Wheel of Fortune, Fate and Destiny. I feel like this person missed out. If it's somebody from the past, they missed out on an opportunity. I feel like they missed out on an opportunity with you. They have regret. Your person's name could, st could start or end with the uh, letters T, 
the letter T, the letter A, the letter R, or the letter O within their name. Yeah, see, they're wanting to energetically be flirtatious, reach out to you, try to figure out a way. And if it's somebody from the past, I don't know, Scorpio, male or female, doesn't matter. You guys might be in the king and or queen of swords mode. I got the king of swords here and I have the queen of swords. This could be your ex, okay? Um, yeah, wow, 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 wow. What do they want to say to Scorpio? And I got to end this. Oh, yeah, they're obsessing over you. Some of you guys are dealing with the Capricorn. Maybe you felt like this person in the past was toxic. They were a player. They were in and out. I don't know. Like I said, I felt like somebody here was leveling up or they're not the same person anymore. This person may also reach out to you on January 15th. This person knows that they backstabbed and betrayed you. Or they could have went through a backstabbing and betrayal with whoever the... If we saw that Queen of Swords, we, we have the Queen of Wands. But see, it's now it's like they want to recognize you or level up, etc. This person's tormented emotionally. Scorpio, thank you so much for the love and support of my channel. If you'd like to book a personal reading, do it through the power of the numbers. You can hit me up at bluescorpiongifts at gmail.com. Until next time, take care.